Did this house say amen? Amen. Did this house say amen again? Amen. The song said, that God will never fail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have a couple witnesses in the house this morning. Yeah. Yeah. There's no something in the past God that he will never fail. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Let us stand for the reading of the word. Reading of the word this morning comes from Psalms 46 and verse 10. Psalms 46 and verse number 10. Right. And it reads, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning just yes, to say thank you. Thank you, oh Heavenly Father, that you have touched and blessed us. Yes. To be able to get up and see a brand new day that you have made. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you in the midst of the storms, Lord God, that are raging all around us. Yes. You still bless us to be able to stand today. Yes. Lord, we ask in the precious and powerful name of Jesus, Lord, that you would put clarity in my speech. Lord, that you would remove me from me yes. and use me for your glory, for your honor, and your praise. Because, Lord, all of this belongs to you. Me, them, and all of us. So that the Father are in the need of a blessing. Now, as Lord, as we humble ourselves before you, we pray, Lord God, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. First we say, give an honor to God, the head of my life, Amen. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, yes. the shepherd of this house, the deacons and all of those that make up this great family. It's indeed a blessing to be back in this house one more time. Yes. Amen. We bring you greetings from the Friendship Baptist Church of the Colony, where Amen. Pastor Gary Trotter is my pastor. Uh, he brought and said his blessings upon us today. Amen. So Amen. we don't come by ourselves. Yes. But we come because of the Holy Spirit that lives within us, yes. that has made another day for us. For your ears this morning, we want to talk about Peace, be still. Yes, sir. Yeah. Peace, be yes. still. Peace, be still. Somebody say it with me. Peace, peace, be still. That's what we're going to talk about today. So when you leave this place and you go back to your various destinations, you're taking with you Peace, be still. David in this Psalms is talking about how God was his divine refuge, how God was his divine help, and how God was his divine protection. Uh, the psalm says to David, be still. Uh, as men, we think that we have it all together. Mm -hmm. all we right. think that uh, God has gifted us with what we have to handle those things that we physically see in front of us. Mm -hmm. uh, but little did we know that we needed God's help to be able to handle these things in life yes, that we put our hands on. That's right. yeah. uh, 
Somebody's going to pray with me. Amen. Yes, uh, we as men feel that, feel that we can handle the things that we find ourselves working on. Okay. Uh, I had a stool that I was working on that I was going to repaint. I went to Home Depot and I got the stain that I thought was going to work for this particular item. Got the stain home, put the plastic on the floor, and I started painting. Uh, little did I know that painting an outside wasn't where I was supposed to start. Uh, somebody's going to get me. Uh, the, 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 the item had an interior part that uh, God showed me that I needed to stop. Uh, that's what uh, David is saying this morning. Be still. Uh, that means to stop in that that you're doing. Uh, 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 that stool that I was painting, I started in the wrong place. David here is saying, Lord, I need you. Yeah. Yeah. And God is saying to him, be still. Yeah. Uh, how can you do something that you think that you need to do when you haven't considered the obstacles that are going to come your way? Yeah. Uh, when I was painting the outside of that stool, the Holy Spirit said, stop, 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 stop. I said, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and when I thought I was done with the outer portion of it, I realized that I should have stopped <laughs> and listened to the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will show you things that are unaware to you when you think that you're doing what God has told you to do. Come on now. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Uh, so when I stopped, I stepped back from it to see my faults. When I was able to step back from it, I was able to see what I couldn't see because I was too close to it. Uh, somebody uh, knows what I'm talking about because there are situations that are going on in your life right now that you are too close to them to see the faults that you have already done. The word this morning is coming to us to tell us to be still. Uh, there's a there's a there's a, uh, 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 a part in us that thinks that we know what's best for us, but that's not what God is telling telling us. Uh, we need Him every minute, every second, every hour of the day. Can I call a witness? Uh, Moses. Uh -huh. uh, and when the Israelites came out of Egypt, yeah. pray with me, uh, Moses yes, brought them out yes. with the hand of God to get them where they found themselves to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, just like us, when the hand of God is showing us what he's doing to us, there's going to always be someone around us that is going to start murmuring, complaining yeah. about where they find themselves to be. Yeah. Yeah. But you followed me where God took me. Yeah. How are you going to complain to me yeah. about what God is doing for me? All right. Uh, 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 those children. With all that God had given them, yeah. with all the blessings that God had provided for them, yeah. how are you going to look back over your life and not 
Give praises unto God for where he has you. Yeah. That's our story this morning. Yeah. Uh, the scripture says, be still and know yeah. that I am God. Yeah. We can look back over our lives and see just like them, yeah. it proves to us that there is a God. How can we not look back over our lives and say, Lord, if it had to be for you who was on my side, yeah. where would I be? Yeah. Uh, just like this, they were trapped yeah. in an unfamiliar place because they had never been there. Right. Yeah. We find ourselves today in the world that we live in. Yeah. We can feel that we're trapped because we've never been here. Right. But the word says, and no. We can all look back over our lives and say to ourselves, I know. Yeah. Uh, well, let me use myself. I can say, Lord, I thank you. Because when I look back over my life and how you have taken care of me, how you have blessed me, how you have helped me even in spite of me. Because of the goodness and the grace of God who was on my side. Amen. Even, as the old folks say, honey, you don't even have a side, so how can you say you got a side? <laughs> but God. Okay. As I look over the audience this morning, we're all old enough to look back over our lives and see the goodness of God. Yeah. How he has blessed us. How he has taken care of us. Keeping us. Yes. Amen? Amen? So when we look back over our lives, how can we say that we don't know? Yes. How can we say that we don't know? Amen. The word says, and no. Yeah. Not me. Not you. Mm -hmm. But God. It says, and no. That I am yes. God. Yes. Well, who is God? Yes. God says that He is. I am that, that I, I am. am. Yes. I am that that you need me to be. Yes. Somebody this morning needs Him to be a father. Yes. Somebody needs Him to be a mother. Yes. Somebody needs Him to be a sister or a brother. Yes. Yes. I live in a time where. All of my older uh, parents have gone on. Uh -huh. So I need God to be Big Mama. Uh, <laughs> big, mama, big, mama. Uh, big Mama was the one that when you fell, she was right there beside you. And said to you, baby, it's okay. Uh, big Mama, Big Mama. Uh, you remember the movie uh, when uh, Big Mama was in the hospital. And uh, the grandson came by her side. Uh -huh. And uh, Big Mama uh, couldn't talk at that time. So she started to cry. And the little boy said to his mama, uh, Mama, I feel that Big Mama was trying to talk to me. Uh, not making out words that he didn't hear, but he felt in the spirit between him and his big mama yeah. uh, that big mama was talking to him. Uh, uh, that's the same way it is with God. Yeah. Uh, we right. can't hear him unless we listen for him. It says, and know yeah. that I am God. Right. Uh, God is whatever we need him to be if we pray and listen for him. Yeah. Because you can't hear him if you don't pray to him so that God can answer your prayer. Yeah. Can I get an amen? amen? When the children found themselves at the Red Sea and Moses uh, and Pharaoh behind them, uh, Moses said to them, be still. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the scripture uh, talks about uh, a child uh, getting direction to be still. Mm -hmm. It says, stand still and know uh, uh, they were milling around going nowhere. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, when God told Moses to tell them to stand still. Stop in your tracks because you're not doing anything that's going to help you but continuously confuse those that are trying to hear from me. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can I say that? Yes, sir. Uh, when God gives you a commandment, mm -hmm. he wants you to listen but you can't listen if you are milling around. Uh -huh. What is milling around? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Milling around is being busy yeah. doing nothing. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. We say that we believe God, but we are milling around, yeah. frantically trying to do something yeah. that we are not equipped to do. Come on. Come on. They found themselves at a point to where they were stopped and couldn't go forward. Yeah. They couldn't go back, but yet still they talked about where they came from. <laughs> when God blesses you, he doesn't bless you to go back. Yeah. He blesses you to go forward. Yeah. And when he puts you in a situation he puts you there so you can pray to him for the answer that you need. Yeah. We're here today not because of us, but because of the Holy Spirit that blessed us yeah. to come to this place yeah. to realize that we need God more today than we did on yesterday. And know and no. that I am God. Yes, yes. So just like them, just like us, we pray, but we don't stand still. Come on. We seek, and we can't find. When all the time, God is saying to us, "Hey, hey, just hold on a minute. I, I got you. Uh, I had you." Before you knew who you were, I'd already done for you what I'm going to show you that I already did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the word says that I knew you before I put you in your mother's womb. I know the very hairs on your head. Uh, 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 I knew your birthday, and I know your death date. So how can you ask of me and think that I don't know? You can't do what you want to do because of you and where you find yourself. They couldn't change their situation until God moved on their behalf. That's right. We're stuck because we don't believe where we are is because of God. Now we got to wait on God to make a way out of no way. But because we're not being still, listening at God and praying to God for God to do what he's already done, we can't see because of what's in front of us. We don't believe that God is God when God has showed us that he is who he say he is. How can I prove it? When you look back over your life and know the goodness of God and all that he has done for you, uh, uh, today, I'm stuck 
right here. Uh, yeah. uh, if I was at the back of the room and somebody else was in my place, I would be the one jumping and shouting and thanking God for where he has brought me from. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, wrestling uh, with Satan. Yeah. Knowing that tomorrow is going to come. Yeah. Because I believe that weeping may endure for a night. Yeah. But joy comes in the morning. Trials and tribulations, they will come. But the God I serve, yeah. that I have, yeah. overcome them all. Yeah. So if the word says that he said to me, I am that I am. Yeah. I can depend on him being who he is. Yeah. He has proven himself to me yeah. because of what he's done for me. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else. Yeah. Nobody else uh -huh. could have done what he has already done yes. for me. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not looking at tomorrow because the word says tomorrow is not promised. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I can look at those things that he's already done. Yes. Peace. Be still. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace. Be still. When we be still, yes. we can see the hand of God all around us. Yes. Uh, you don't believe me? Uh, breathe. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen. You can't hear your own. Uh, we're here. You can see me. I can see you. That's God. Yes. How can it be that we question if there is when we ought to know right. that there is? Yes. 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 Come on, come on, he is all that I need him to be. Yes. Yes. He will never fail. Amen. Because he can't think. Uh, the same uh, the same book that I have, this manual, uh, you got it. And I got it. Uh, if we took a poll this morning uh, from the oldest to the youngest, this manual may have changed in the, the, the look Okay, yeah. say, preacher, what are you talking about? Okay, I got a manual. I got this book, just like some of you got this book. But this book comes in many different forms nowadays. Yeah. Okay, the youngest one in the room may have this book. Yeah. <laughs> it's a second book. It didn't change. So God's word is alive. Yeah. If we in his book what we need him to be. Uh -huh. yeah. We all come from somewhere, going yes, someplace. Yes, sir. But the book that God has provided for us is the 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 the, 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 the his will, his way, uh -huh. and nothing in it will change. It's the application that we need it to be yes. for us in the world in which we live. Yeah. It doesn't change. We change when God blesses us to see more of him that we can understand him better than we did on yesterday. Yeah. We can't take time for today because we're worried about tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Somebody said that uh, I gotta do this. What happened? You say I'm going to do this and that. When this and that hasn't come yet, Amen. James says, "Don't talk about tomorrow 
in your first person. It's God that will give that to you if it's his will. Right. So we can't take thought for tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. Now, these children, uh, how they were stuck going nowhere because they would be still. Uh, let's revisit them. Uh, they found themselves trapped by war. And Pharaoh's army behind them. Yeah. And that could be us. God has blessed us. Yeah. God has heard our prayer. Yeah. God has made a way. Yeah. God has changed our lives. Uh -huh. God has brought us out. Yeah. God has used someone in our lives to help us become and get to where God wants us to be. Watch this. Even in spite of them, God used them to bless us to where we are. That's right. Amen. Amen. So we can't look at who God chose to use to bless us. All right. We have to All right. thank God for God blessing us yeah. in spite of the one that blessed us to be where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We get caught up in well, he doesn't look like this. She doesn't look like yeah. that. Uh, they're not old enough. They're not young enough. They don't dress this way. They don't live in this place. Yeah. They don't do this or that. But God. God can use anybody at any time to bless that woman that he has made a way for. So let us change our perspective yes. on who and how we think God is going to bless us. Yes. Let us remember the goodness of God yes. and how he has made a way for us yes. even right now. Yes. That's divine. Let's look at divine help. Scripture talks about I will be exalted among the heathen. Two words I want to look at. Exalted. Exalted means praise. So, if I read it again, I will be praised among the heathen. I will be praised or honored among the heathen. Okay? Heathen. What is heathen? Uh, a heathen comes from the Old Testament. Uh, the New Testament calls a heathen a non-believer. Alright, alright. Let's read the heathen. I will be praised among the unbeliever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Wow. Mm -hmm. God says, uh -huh. they need to pray to me. Yeah. Now be still mm -hmm. and know that I am God. Yeah. And despite where you find yourself, uh, uh, Praise me among the unbelievers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yes. Amen. Can I visit Grandma again? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as a little boy, uh, I grew up and I always said that God has called both of them home to be with him. But a grandmother and a great grandmother. And I was about eight years old. Uh -huh. and, 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 and we lived in this house that was probably as big as our church. And uh, there were no walls, just a house. And, 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 and in one part of it was the kitchen. And the other part of it was set aside for a bedroom. 
uh, but we had a radio. And uh, uh, the radio was on A, and there was a radio station called KSKY. Uh, I'm probably the only one that remembers the AM side radio. Uh, but this radio station played gospel uh, music, and it was a station that had preachers that would preach on it. And uh, being the only child, being grandson, the great grandson of these old people, uh, you get to a point in life to where when that's how you're raised, uh, you start to mimic them and what they do. Uh -huh. Come on. Now, uh, this particular day, it was cold outside. It was snowing, and we were inside being uh, heated by a gas heater. Yeah. <laughs> they gave off light for the room. Yeah. And Big Mama was in the side of the house in the room cooking in the kitchen. But the radio was on. And uh, if you can remember or know anything about an old person, uh, they all wore skirts that's neat. Yeah. With slips. Mm -hmm. yeah. They covered themselves uh -huh. differently than young people do today. Yes. Amen. Uh, Amen. But I can remember yeah. uh, Big Mama standing in the kitchen uh, and swaying back and forth to the <laughs> preaching that was going on on the radio. That's right. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, I was sitting on the floor uh -huh. looking at Big Mama yeah. being happy uh -huh. because of what was going on on the radio. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't about the radio. Yeah. It was about what she heard yeah. and what uh -huh. she believed. Yeah. And as yeah. she looked yeah. back over her life, uh -huh. yeah. I was able to say, Lord, I thank I you. Thank you. Yeah. Even in spite of yeah. where I am. Uh -huh. yeah. Among the unbelievers. Yes. Uh, I was the unbeliever. Yeah. Uh, I grew up that way, not knowing what grandma was putting in me. The word says, train up a child yeah. in the way that they should go. Yeah. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. Yeah. They're in heaven now, looking down on me, yeah. saying, Preach, boy, preach. Church. Come on now. But God's word 
It's poured out over you. And you don't understand what you're getting while you're here. But get over. And that that was given to you, you'll realize it by and by. Growing up that way and being able to understand words before they were given to me. Uh, my grandmother walked with a cane. Yeah. And uh, her standing in the kitchen and swaying with the words that were coming across the little radio we had. Yeah. Uh, I was able to see when she got happy. Yeah. Uh, and I knew what she was holding on to. Yeah. That she wasn't going to hold on to it too long. Yeah. Before she would moan again and I yeah. used to get up yeah. and give her her cane. Yeah. Well, I went over and gave her her cane. Uh, yeah. And we were able yeah. to praise God together. Yeah. Uh, I praised God with her yeah. because I loved her. Yeah. Her going through was a witness to me that God had made a way for her. Yeah. So because of God making the way for her, yeah. I believed in my life uh, yeah. that God would make a way for me. Yeah. That is changing yeah. and that is praising God in the place of a non-believer. Yeah. All right, all right. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because you have people in your life well, that don't believe like you believe. Yeah, right. But yeah. you are supposed to praise God yeah. in the presence of those that don't believe. Yeah. What good is it? You come to church on, and yeah. thank God for all that he's done. Yeah. Go home and put your Bible back where you got it from. Yeah. And not praise God for how he has blessed you. Yeah.